you should always consult the appropriate advisor before making any financial decision. The following program is sponsored by The Now Academy. Money 2.0 presents In The Now, the premier show for entrepreneurs, business owners, and business leaders. With marketing experts, Brandon Heinz and Mike Driggers. Get ready to unleash and launch because they're going to blow your mind. Now, here are Brandon Heinz and Mike Driggers on Money 105.5. Money 105.5. Good. In The Now. Good morning. Good morning. What is it you say? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good late night. You up at 3 a.m.? We all say hi to all of you guys. Every what, Just depending on the time you're watching this live stream or listening to us on radio or yeah. iTunes. I'm actually very impressed. I like the followers that are building up. I see you guys watching it, watching it more than once. I mean, some of the shows, the value that's there, I'm glad you guys are embracing it. So thank you for being part of our tribe because you like our vibe. Yes, Absolutely. So how's your day? My day's good, man. I mean, uh, I got wiped out on Monday from the flu. So I, I think you remember I designed it right around Sunday, around four o'clock. I was crashing. Yeah. And one of the attendees brought me some like homopathic medicine oil, that dot Terra stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I the put peppermint. it on my tongue and it, it popped me back out, got me through the rest of the Sunday. And then Monday I was just going downhill. And then Tuesday, I, I mean, the first time ever, I literally dropped my kids off at school and was like, I'm going to go lay down. And I slept <laughs> for three hours straight. Oh wow. Just out. So, yeah. I'm yeah. Back. I was having a uh, character building morning on my way in here. All the traffic? Oh, yeah. They, they, I don't <laughs> get it. Why do they do construction work right at the prime time of traffic? I just don't get it. Why, why can't they wait till after traffic dies down and then do it, right? They have to do construction work right then and there, which even makes it worse, right? And then it's an hour drive in here, and so it makes it even longer. And, uh, you know, I'm coming in hot with everything. So it's a character building moment. That was for sure. Extra office at the office. You just get a hide a couch in there, pop it out (laughs) the night before, wake up bright and early, hit the gym downstairs. There you go. What's good to have all this nice, beautiful office space with window views and everything. I know. I got to use it. I got to put a cot in there. Something. Yeah. Hammock. I've always been a no, no, no chair or couch in my office. Because that one day when I'm tired, I might just curl up on it and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's too tempting, right? You need one of those pull-out, luxury pull-out couches. Yeah, they make them too. They make ones nowadays that are just amazing. I slept on one in a hotel. I was like, this is a great freaking bed. Yeah, yeah. You've seen the ones in the wall? like they, It's like total... Murphy beds? Yeah, it's pretty cool. How they, uh, it, all the engineers and how they figure out how to... You know, take a small box and turn it into a huge bed. It's pretty amazing. So I want to give a shout out to all the attendees from Design It this last weekend. Amazing group. Full house. Everybody was there. We were having fun. There was people from the free tickets on the radio show all the way to speak in sales to online customers. It was just an amazing weekend. I had a lot of fun. I met some really great people. A couple of you guys brought me some really good books that I put on my reading list. So thank you all for attending Design It. That was an amazing weekend. Um, A lot of value. And I mean, not just from us providing the content, but just from the customers and the people that were in the room, just some of the things that I learned (laughs) was amazing. Yeah, it was a great event. A lot of really uh, people playing full out. Yeah, they were a very active group. I yeah. mean, you guys really weren't afraid to ask questions. Some of you like really just interrupted a lot and, and asked questions whenever you wanted. But hey, that's what we asked you to do, right? We said play full out. Step outside your comfort zone and dig in and learn your business. So thank you, guys. Yeah, there was some pretty uh, <coughs> major breakthroughs that went away. You saw the light bulbs going on for a lot of people. Yeah, I saw a lot of jumping for joy. I saw a lot of tears. I saw a lot of growth. I saw a lot of people just reconnecting with other humans. It was amazing. Yeah, so if you want to learn more about the, the Design It course, um, go to designitcourse.com, and you can learn more about uh, our next upcoming event, which is in March, and we'll have a lot of information up there for you to where you can register and stuff, but at least start checking it out. 
Yeah, and those of you that want to get on the early bird special, which launches literally tomorrow, the 16th, send me a, a comment through askbrandonnow.com, and I will send you a promo code that will waive the discounted fee down to $97. So it's a $3,000 course that we sell for $7.97 per ticket. This promo code that I'll send you will allow you to purchase an early bird special for $97. So go to askbrandonnow.com and request the early bird special. Absolutely. Take advantage. So today we're talking about your unique value proposition your, and creating unique content that uh, you put out there in the uh, social world about your business. You know, um, What are some things that you think is important when it comes to a company or a thought leader or an entrepreneur to, to do with unique value proposition? First, understand what it is. Yeah, so your unique value is something that you do that your competitors don't do or that you do better than your competitors do. So, for example, you both could have service with a smile, but yours comes with a nice comment like, I hope you had an amazing day at our company today. Whatever that unique value is could be completely different. You might have a return policy that's amazing. You might have something different about your company. So what is that unique value that your company brings to the table? Yeah, I, you know, it's important to run what I call SWOT analysis to help you, and that's uh, strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. And, the, and, and you run that on your business first, right? Like, what's your strengths? What's, what are some opportunities? What are some threats? What are your weaknesses, right? And, um, and then w go and analyze all your top five competitors. Go and run a, a SWOT analysis on them, and then look at how you can position differently. Like, what is it that you can do that puts you in a unique situation that makes you different? Um, it's not necessarily price. It's not customer service. It's, it's you know... It, it could be anything. It, it, but it's more than that, right? Yeah. You want to you wanna see how you can step out and be different. And yeah, how, how, what is your, like, literally, when you use the spying version to find out your competitor out there, what are their strengths and what are their weaknesses? And how can you establish a threshold to uh, overcome something in one of those departments? What if your strength is better than their strength? What if your, their weakness you can improve on your side? What if you guys are almost exact matches, but you can get the upper hand by just greeting people with a better experience? What if the experience that you bring as a company is what changes your unique value point? Just the way that you greet people and how your customer services could be a huge standpoint. Well, it could even be a message. Like, yeah. you know, the doctor that you worked with um, uh, on time and appointments. Yeah. Right after doing a survey and discovering that that's what people loved. And then your message was always on time appointments. Yeah. And then the dentist where it said basically their message was same day services. If they found something wrong, they did it in the same day, and that was their marketing point. The dentist right next door, same dentist, right? But we do all the work the day we find it. Woohoo! I love the background drop. Sean, I think Sean's telling us we better go to a commercial. Yeah, he's telling you. So when we get back, we've got a special guest, uh, Gwendolyn Osborne Smith, who's now the COO of Smith Entertainment. She's actually was on The Price is Right, and uh, and she was part of Meet the Smith reality show. And she's, she's talking about creating unique content. She, that's exactly what she's doing. So when we get back from 105.5 Money Talk and Mike Driggers and Brandon Heights in In the Now. Guest is standing by. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Or how about the one that says, mindset is everything. I truly believe both these statements. If you're looking to grow in your life or your business, then something's got to change. Stop the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Hi, I'm Brandon Heinz, and I've helped thousands of my clients do just that. Stop being controlled by limiting beliefs and patterns that don't suit you anymore. Join me at AskBrandonForFree.com. That's AskBrandonForFree.com. Here we go. Coming back. Com. The number one show for entrepreneurs. This is In The Now, part of the Money 2.0 series on Money 105.5 and the Money 105.5 app. We're back on Money Talk 105.5 In The Now with Brandon Heinz and Mike Driggers. We've got an amazing guest. 
I mean, you, as we were talking about creating content and unique content, uh, this young woman is set out to do exactly that. Let me give you a little bit of history real quick. Gwendolyn Osborne Smith, uh, her, her, she's been in Any Given Sunday, which is a, f a favorite movie of mine. I love that movie. Uh, Real Husbands of Hollywood, Young and Restless, she's been part of. She's been uh, the bold and beautiful Jack and Jill and uh, Snow Dogs. But she was, she was on The Price is Right for a long time. And now she's taken the entrepreneur leap, which as an actress, I'm sure you're an entrepreneur, but she's taken that leap as the COO, Chief Operating Officer of the Smith Entertainment Group, and they're looking to produce um, aspirational shows, right, and, and content. And so you talk about someone that's leading the charge to creating new content. One-of-a-kind content. Yeah, one-of-a-kind. I, I want to welcome to the radio show Gwendolyn Osborne Smith. Are you there? Hello, hello, hello. I'm right here. Oh, well, hello and welcome to the show. It's so exciting to have you. I've been watching oh, the introduction. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. I've been watching a lot of, uh, you know, I, I, I'd watch the Smiths once in a while. I would catch an episode here and there and, and uh, you were amazing on there. But, uh, you know, now you're taking the helm. You're, you're driving the bus and leading the charge on your new company that you partnered with ITV. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that and what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, you know, every day is a new day. So every day I'm learning as well as, you know, I feel like I'm in school at the same time as having this major job. So I, as much as I take in, I've got to put it right back out in, in the way that I have interpreted it. So um, it's definitely coming, you know, unique and one of a kind and uh, working with Kenny as well. And, um, you know, he has his sports point of views of how everything goes and I have my performing arts and lifestyle point of views and so together we basically fuse this you know comes into like a sports and lifestyle um, way and I, I don't really think that there's anybody else that could do that better other than him or him and I together so um, you know when people are looking at the whole actual vision of a sports lifestyle we are here to give it well, that's awesome. So, I mean, you're you're creating this new media company and taking this content, the sports lifestyle, which is um, kind of cool, right? It's kind of you got a yeah. mixture, right? And so your background, because cool. you were you were a singer, right? Is that? Um, yeah, I, I am still a singer. I'm still in the studio, I'm putting together an album right now, um, and making sure that it all creates a story. So when you once you put it on, you can really feel like you're a part of you know, the story from the beginning to the end of the album. So that I'm finally finalizing up this year amongst the other 50,000 other things. I'm doing. <laughs> but um, that, that's true <laughs> entrepreneurship right there. You, it, you've got multiple projects going on. <laughs> yeah. But you know that, you know, one inspires the other and the other inspires the first, you know, you just keep it yep. going and you keep them rolling as, as life goes on and it stays exciting. So, um, you, you, you were acting, singing. What was it that you and the reason you decided to take this move and, and lead the charge like this? Well, um, Kenny and I had, we have always been working, you know, together on projects here and there, you know, while I was on Price is Right for 12 years. Um, and, you know, as he's been a commentator on Inside the NBA, uh, you know, in our, in our downtime, dare I say, we will put together events and, and recognize that we have something special. So, you know, when we were approached, he was actually approached to do a, a commercial for a car. And he didn't want to just do this commercial the way that they had delivered it to him. We got together, and since we had been asked to do reality shows with our family, we said, well, let's create this television, this uh, t c commercial, this car commercial, as if it's um, our reality show. Hmm. So we created about five different segments um, for this commercial, and each one was a, a short, should I say, like it seemed like a short commercial for a reality show that was yet to come. So when they put them all together, we basically had a scissor wheel. So from that, we said, this is how we would like to produce a reality show for ourselves, for the Smiths. And uh, TBS picked that up, and that's kind of where it went. You know, we were like... Ah, you know, we can really do this. This is what we can actually do and have a life doing. So 
um, when I decided it was time for me to move into something new, uh, leaving prices right, it all happened at the same time. I believe in God. It was God's timing. Mm. It was like, you know, here you got, you know, here you wanted something new to step into and feel solid about while leaving another great job. Here we go. Go to ITV, take SEG and, and reach for the stars. And that was how I was able to um, confidently and, and bittersweetly at the same time say goodbye to Price is Right. Yeah, that was probably a hard one. Great show. Been running a long time. You were on there for a long time. Yeah, 12 years. And, um, and I'm proud to say I'm the longest running woman of color on a daytime game show. So, you know, I've gone out with a trophy, in my, my imaginary trophy in hand. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> well, the one thing that you said that one inspires another. I love that. Yes. Because as entrepreneurs, yes. we're all going along. We're working. We're like wondering, like, how much of an impact are we making? What are we really doing? Are we living our lives the way we want it? And then you said doing it and having a life doing it. And that's what we're all thriving for. And I noticed in your, in your plug that you said you wanted to help create as many opportunities as possible with these platforms that you're on. So in this new company that you're doing and providing this real content, your goal is to provide a lot of opportunities. What's the main core behind this new company? Well, it is to create new opportunities. Um, and I'll tell you, it's definitely for people of color as well, because I do feel there's a lack of that mm -hmm. in, the in the television industry. When I say there's a lack, there's a lack of opportunity because there's a lack of vision from people of color to be able to say here, you know, I see you here, I see you here, and I'm going to give you the opportunity to either come in and give me your show, your idea, so that we can make it possible, or I can help make it possible for you as an actor, as a host, or whatever it is that you as an athlete, you know, also, you know, what I've noticed, you know, there's a lot of athletes that you know, have other ideas that have things that they would like to be seen for as well, more than the fact that they can, you know, get out there and, and catch a ball well, hit a ball well, whatever it may be that they do, that we know them famously for, is to say, look, hey, you know, you guys, I'm, I'm way more diverse than that. Look at what else I can do, you know? And it's the same with, with actors and, and, you know, me being a model. It's like a lot of people didn't even know I had a British accent for the longest time. Like, yeah, you never really heard my voice. <laughs> oh, I thought that was Southern. It's British? No, just no, kidding. Actually, it's funny that you're saying this because the other day I was watching this show where they had these NFL five, uh, they, had, they started out with 15 NFL players and, and kickers and all this stuff. And one of them was like a full opera singer. The other one had been training his dog. And then the other yeah. football player came out and he was like literally like singing like a full on like just piano song, everything, like as if he had been doing that for his career. And I was like, wow, this exactly. is a big 275-pound athlete that can sing. How interesting is that? You yeah, know? Like, that's these, cool. These people are so diverse, and like giving them the opportunity to be able to show that feels yeah. so good. And I know that living my life also, the, and the way I live my life, and I, I, I've listened to you guys before, and you're talking about being grateful. The first thing I do in the morning is I wake up and I'm grateful. And I tell you also, one of the main reasons I'm grateful is that growing up in England and opening the curtains to gray clouds every day, mm. I would tell myself, one day I'm going to wake up and every morning there's going to be blue skies. And I live in Los Angeles today and I wake up and I say, I did it. I wake up, I see some blue skies and that's what puts a smile on my face and that's what gets me going, I'm grateful. And, and so I live my life that way and I continue to be an empowered woman that makes decisions based off of her own choices in life. And I would love for other to inspire other women to make sure that they can do the same. Yeah, especially. So I, go ahead. Sorry. sorry. Go ahead. No, go, go ahead. Yeah, no, I just want to make sure that it's, it's something that you can do. You just have to make the choice to do it. Yeah, you can have anything you want in life if you actually just pursue the choice. It's when we sit back and go, I don't want to do that. Like, think about some of yeah. these guys, like when you're talking about these sports guys, this gentleman who's a professional kicker had to come out and literally do opera, and he nailed right. it. Yeah. But I mean, right. none of, no one in the world really knew that that was his, his passion. And as an entrepreneur, right. all of us have things that we're good at. Most people who are talented are talented more than one ways. There's hardly yeah. anybody on the earth that just has one talent. Yeah. It, right. You know, it's, it's interesting because especially right now, there's a big, 
in the movies and shows a uh, big woman empowerment, which I totally support and believe, right? That yes. and, and so the timing's right for you to to create this type of content. And and you know it's funny because you talk about athletes. I recently had shared the stage with Joe Theismann, and uh, never thought Joe Theismann mm-hmm. as a motivational speaker, but man, he killed it. Like it was a really? great. Oh man. And uh, I was taking notes, you know, in the back. I was uh, taking notes. And, and so uh, you just, it's a, it's a surprise. You know, you don't think that way. You don't think that, oh, they have other things that they do. And uh, reality is, is there's a lot of stuff. They're multi-talented in different things. And so that's awesome. You're bringing that to the table. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I mean, you know, it's definitely the Me Too <clears throat> year. Hashtag Me Too. And I just feel like um, people should should always you know make choices out of love and not off of fear and and that does happen a lot we get scared and especially the older we get the more fearful we get and um and i like to say that i'm going to embrace whatever the fear is and say that i'm going to move forward because of the love i have for whatever it is i'm working towards and i would and i would love to make sure that other people you know take that type of a mentality as well because it's too hard in life to it's, it's only one life you can't sit back and, and and live in the fears you know otherwise you won't ever keep going Absolutely. We need to get you on the speaker circuit with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd motivate all the, the folks that we have and, and are constantly in front of. That would be awesome. So what are some Aww. projects that you're working on right now, or can you tell? Um, we have a, a, a project with True TV coming out called Late Night Snack, and um, it's, it's being finalized. You know, television, the biggest thing is having some patience, man. you got to have patience. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, you think you're right there at the end, and then they're like, oh, no, we got to go back in and do one more little eyebrow on that sketch right there. You know, so um, it's coming out uh, in March now, and uh, so it's called Late Night Snack, and it's on True TV. Mm. So that actually incorporates um, some animation as well as uh, narration and some sketch comedy. So um, I get to show off some of my sketch comedy skills in there. Um, actually, Kenny is showing off a little bit of his sketch comedy I don't think anybody knew <laughs> <laughs> the hidden um, talent. Yeah, but yeah, we we produced that, and and we're definitely hoping to develop that into becoming a, a full thirty minute show on True TV. Um, and there are some other things coming out and going on. You know, this is All Star Weekend, so uh, we have some things taping actually this weekend. We're we're constantly moving forward, but that's the one project I can tell you that will be coming out. That's awesome. It, that, that's when Mike told me about you coming on the show. I said, you know what? This is what I want because we talk a lot about marketing and we talk about training, but we also want people to understand that you got to keep moving forward. Like you said, one thing inspires another thing, and take the chance to go for it. Opportunity yeah. presents itself. Life opens yeah. doors. When one window closes, another one opens. When one door closes, yeah. another one opens. Yeah, it's the in between time that you need to to you know just stay steady and focused. It's, you know, that door shuts and you're sitting in this room and waiting for the other one. And all of a sudden you just keep going. And it's like we said in past shows that once you've decided to do it, the how always gets figured out. Yeah. People say that luck favors the prepared. I say that opportunity comes to the ones who are open to it when you know it's there. Yeah. You know what the definition of um, great, great advice from Philip Lawrence. He's actually, uh, you know, the writer in Bruno Mars and he, he performs in Bruno Mars. Um, but I think we all only know about Bruno Mars, but he is yep. the writer. And he, so he's, he's, he's his, his right hand guy. And I had the opportunity to talk to him and he says, Gwendolyn, you know, it's those in between moments, like what you just said. It's those, it's that time when nobody's seeing you that you have to stay believing in yourself and believing in your own magic. So mm. that when that, that opportunity hits, you're ready, you know, because you've stayed believing. And I, I'll never forget him telling me that because, you know, the reason I, I talked to him, because I was congratulating him, I said, you know, I know you've been in this game for a long time. You know, it, it, it's been, you know, you know how people say overnight success is, is 10 years, really. You know, it's, it's, you know <laughs> he's been working at his game. Yeah, he's been working at his game for, for over that amount of time. I don't want to age anybody. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and our producer's <laughs> telling us we got to go to a break, but let's stop on that part right there. Those in-between moments. With Gwendolyn Osborne Smith, we'll have her right back as soon as the commercial is over, but it's always the in between moments that count the most. Absolutely. (laughs) 
Have you ever heard the statement, mindset is everything? I believe this statement to be true. If you're ready to grow in your business or you're trying to change things in your life, mindset is key. I'm Brandon Heinz, and I've helped thousands of my clients set their mindset in the right direction to allow them to achieve their goals and to make changes in their lives. You can have what you want. Let's stop the limiting beliefs that are holding you back with my help. Go to AskBrandonForFree.com. That's AskBrandonForFree.com. Com. Waldo Bauer's Flooring Showroom at 2300 Broadway is the place you need to go to see the largest flooring selection in Northern California. Even when nothing's new in the market, they will have something special for you. And right now, Quick Step Laminate, there's beauty in the details, has a special price starting at $239 per square foot. And Homer Wood Handcrafted Hickory 5-inch Solids and 6-inch Engineered has a special winter sale. Waldo Bowers also has wood, vinyl, tile, and carpet products in stock and available for immediate delivery. If you're not quite ready for new flooring, Waldo Bowers carries all the manufacturer's cleaning products, including host dry cleaning cleaning machines for rent. And take a look at the wallpapers and window coverings. Excellent customer service, professional installation, and affordable prices. Why would you go anywhere else? 0% financing is available on approved credit. Waldo Bowers. Join them on Facebook, online at waldobowersfloorcovering.com, or call 451-0114. 451-0114. Hi, I'm attorney Eric Meyer of Meyer Lotzes, the host of Money 105.5's new show, the Wealth and Family Show. Every Thursday at 4 p.m., we'll talk about how to build and protect your wealth and family. In this complicated world we live in, be confident you have taken the steps to ensure everything you've worked hard for and what matters most, your family, are protected. Join the conversation every Thursday afternoon at 4. Straight talk and to the point. This is personal. This is family. This is the Wealth and Family Show. Fridays at 2. Lock it into Money 105.5 for the Rush Hour for Success. It's a show dedicated to your success. With information about what's going on in the community, reviews of places to visit around Sacramento, and of course, topics that involve experts in money strategies, business, real estate, and things that matter most in life. Join the walk star himself, Tim T. Chong. Coming get back. Get educated and get with a rush for success. Fridays at 2 on Money 105.5. The number one show for entrepreneurs. This is In The Now. Part of the Money 2.0 series on Money 105.5 and the Money 105.5 app. Welcome back. All right, man. When we left, we were on fire with Glenn, Gwendolyn Osborne Smith. She, we were talking about the in-between time. But, you know, there was something you said about, you know, that you've been doing this. You were on Prices Right uh, for, what, 12, 15 years, I think it was. Um, 12 years. 12 years. Okay. And then you've been mastering your craft for a long time. And then people, and you said that, you know, Bruno Mars was uh, the writer. Philip Norris. Philip Norris. Yeah, he was the uh, talking about, you know, it's the in-between times. And it, and it seems like, you know, sometimes we people, you, they look at it and say, oh, they were just lucky, right? And, uh, you know, I have this definition for luck that I use when somebody says that. I say, you know what? You're correct. It's called labor under correct knowledge, right? It's it's mm-hmm. it's taking what we know and applying it and, and just constantly pushing forward to strive for the best. And I love what, what you were saying is, you know, believe in your own magic. That's so powerful. A lot of people, yeah. they don't, right? No. And so, you got to believe in your own magic. Yes, you, ha- you have and to. And all of us have it. I mean, every single human on earth has their own magic. And a lot of the things exactly. that you look at, and even in our practice where we're speakers, authors, and coaches, <coughs> we're out there and people are trying to recreate our content or that everybody wants to follow the same bandwagon. You've got to find that UVP. What's different about you that brings you into light so that those in-between moments are truly yours? Yeah, exactly. And it's about taking the time, like you said, to find out what it is about you that's different Um, or maybe not even different. That's just about yourself. You know, you know, as as an actor, you know, you go to an audition and you sit in a room and you can totally psych yourself out. I tell you, because you walk (laughs) in that room and there are 10 other Gwendolyn looking people in that room. But you have to remember to sit into yourself and say, yeah, but, you know, this is what I do. I'm pretty sure there isn't another girl in here that's from Bath. England. And I'm pretty sure that they don't have a a, a half Irish father and a Jamaican mother. And I'm, and I'm, you know, and you have to start thinking about your own individual qualities, you know, or you will just leave that room. Because if you just base it off of how people look, 
you have to believe, you know what, my, my individuality is my magic. When I go in that room, I know that I bring an essence that nobody else in this room can bring. And that will give you the confidence to say, I'm enough. I'm enough. I'm going to just stop psyching myself out. I am enough. I believe in my own magic. And yes, you are 100% accurate. I, I love it. Yes, so much. Because think about everything. So for all of our listeners out there, how many of you guys go to a restaurant just because the owner is so nice to you? Exactly. There's all kinds of unique value points in every human on earth. You just got to f- stand up for them and embrace them. Like we're learning this now as a culture. A long time ago when our, our parents were kids, you know, it was like, ooh, don't let people find out you, you like to write poetry. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. They, <laughs> what well, could happen to you on the football team if they find out you're a poet? <laughs> yeah, or an opera singer. Yeah, I mean those, and now these guys has said that show was. I think it was during the Super Bowl, but it was like this little uh, little contest they had for the most unique uh, quality that you had, and these football players went for it. And that's why I loved that you were coming on the show today because I knew with someone who wants to empower women and go from one thing inspired to another, but yet doing it while having the life that they want. That's what our whole entire core is about. Exactly. So you. And- you know, I'm sitting here as a mother, you know, I, I've got a huge range of children. You know, uh, my, my daughter is five, my youngest, and she's going to be starting kindergarten this September. And Yay. my oldest daughter is graduating from college in May. So, you know, I've got a nine-year-old in between and I've got two stepkids. So in between doing me, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm doing all of them too. You know, so I, I, I can say that, you know, I, I can relate to every mother out there. I understand that life can get tough and it can get rough and you got to go with the flow every day. But if you just start off with being grateful. Absolutely. Every morning. Start falling into place. Yeah. Every morning. I love that you open up the curtains and you see the beautiful clouds and you're grateful for the day. Right. You're grateful exactly. for your kids. And and that and, I, I you know, kudos because not only are you running a major uh, company, and doing some major things, but then you've got, you know, I've always said the CEO of the home, right? Yeah. And and managing yeah. all that, and so you know, absolutely. It, it, and you know, women that are out there that are in that position, whether single moms or or currently, you know, married, and you have your own business, is that you know, just keep driving forward, believe in your own magic. I just, uh, you know, keep yeah. doing the best that you can do because you never know if you push forward, it, there may be some new opportunity, and then. Hey, you're talking to Gwendolyn Osborne Smith on the radio. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Well, I saw her on the, you know, Meet the Smiths. I, you know, I'd, I'd catch that episode in. Uh, and I love snow dogs. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so right now, this I is your time. So we've asked you a yes, few questions, yes. but I mean, what is it you really want to share with our audience right now? I mean, I, I think I've shared it, but if you don't remember anything else, uh, you know, believe in your magic and know that you are enough. Um, we are here as a company to hear voices of, um, if you're an expert in your field and what you do and, and you feel like it's something that needs to be seen on television, please, you know, reach out to us. Um, I'm on Instagram at Mrs. Gwenny Smith and I'm also on tw- Twitter at Mrs. Gwenny Smith. And, um, if nothing else, it's always fun to watch the shenanigans that go on with, with my life. <laughs> um, you, you have, <laughs> well, and I love the. Uh, I'm going to catch that new show you got coming out, Late Snack. That kind of matches my. Yeah, uh, late, <laughs> yeah, night yeah. Night yeah. Snack. late night snack. Yeah. So, right. so, so they can reach out to you uh, at uh, both of those locations. I'll make sure we get it up on the website and under the uh, yeah. interview so that people can, uh, you know, reach out if they have some ideas or opportunities. I think you need to write the book, Believe in Your Own Magic. I love that title. That's a great oh, title. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. One Thanks, idea guys. inspires another. Yep. yep. Yes. Yeah. So um, what else? What do, what do we have not asked you that we should have? Um, I don't think you have missed anything. I think we've covered it all. Well, I know you're a big, so I, I know you're a big martial arts and I'm, I was raised in the martial arts. That's something new. Um, yeah, my father was my sensei. Uh, so was and, mine. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And so I didn't finish my black belt. I didn't go to my grading because I don't know whether it was because he was my dad or I just seriously, I just had enough of the whole situation, but I was just <laughs> like, I'm good. 
I think I'm good. You know, I know how to take care of myself. I feel like if I walk down the alley, I could kick anybody's butt. So um, <laughs> I think I'm good now. So, but I, you know, of course, I wish I had finished. And there's, there's still the day that I would like to go and finish out my Shotokan karate and, and, and become a black belt. I'm sure um, Pops would am, love that. <laughs> I, I, I can't talk about a project I am involved in personally as an actor right now. Because awesome. I have the, the whole Hollywood sign the NDA thing. But I will be using my martial arts. In, uh, in, in the next project that I'm involved in. Oh, ah, action. I'm super, super excited about that, yes. That's fun. How fun. Congratulations. Yeah. I yeah. love that you're creating your own story, and everything that you're doing is, is, is directly correlated with your life. You're a mother. You're going for it. You're an entrepreneur that's empowering other women. I just want to thank you for even coming on the show today and sharing that with our audience because sometimes we do get stuck in the mundane teaching and trying to give more value through t uh, courses and how to grow your business. But sometimes you just have to realize it's all in the mi moments in between where exactly. you hear all these entrepreneurs saying it too. It's like, always be successful even when no one's looking. Know that you're like successful. No one is looking. Yeah. Do the magic. Yes. Have it. Yeah. Exactly. Yay. <laughs> I so, want to. I want to tell you that I feel very heard today, you, and that is very, very, very important to me. And I want to thank you for that because saying a lot of stuff and not being heard makes it, you know, void. So the fact that I feel very heard by you guys, it, it feels very good. Well, I absolutely love you know this this whole episode. It's been amazing, and and just you know, I think the one point that we can walk away with is is you've got so much going on. There's no excuse for anybody else. If you believe in yourself and you believe in that magic, then you can you can do it. You could get out there and and um, you know take on multiple products. Grow. You know you got a company. You're producing. You're acting. You're you're still singing. You got an album coming out, right? I mean, there's yeah. no, you got kids that you've got to manage. Kids and you're starting kitty garden. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that's awesome, right? I mean, there's no excuse. Anybody can do it once they set their mind to it. And that, I love your, I know you're a big believer and God, you know, directs the way and opens those doors. And, and uh, you know, you just got to believe that you can and, and move forward. And I love the empowerment that you're providing to our audience today. Just amazing. Thank you. I would also say to other mothers that if you show that you can believe in your own magic, then you show your children that they can believe in theirs too. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm a firm believer in being the person you want your children to become. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. You got to be the, the ideal role model yeah. to guide. And you got to reset yourself sometimes and say, you know what? I am that person and I want my kids to know that. And sometimes you just take a moment and spend that time with them and say, this is why I am who I am because of you. So uh, exactly. you, we just uh, adored you and had a great time. We love that you were on here. We're going to be going to break here in a minute, but uh, is yeah. there any last shouts that you want to give out to the audience, any empowerment that you want to provide? Uh, the time is now, and we'll definitely get all your uh, information up on the site so people can reach out to you. We definitely encourage the audience to do that. So is there any yeah. last thing, parting words, that you would like to, to bless our audience with? You never know when you could go and, and be invited to have dinner with the queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! So keep your manners up and and stay believing in your in your own magic and 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 keep your head up, man. Just keep your head up and stay grateful. Oh, that's awesome. Outstanding. Folks, that's with much. Gwendolyn Smith or Gwendolyn Osborne Smith. Uh, and, uh, folks, we've really enjoyed. I hope you uh, go out and check out her information and look out for her because she's coming in a big way. She so, always has been. Has been yeah, now she's going to control it. <laughs> she's she's taking the leash. Whoosh, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's do it. Thank you, Gwendolyn. Have a beautiful day, and uh, we'll, to, we'll talk soon, I'm sure. Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. In the now. With Mike Triggers and Brandon Heights on Money Talk 105.5. Talk to you soon.
They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Or how about the one that says, mindset is everything. I truly believe both these statements. If you're looking to grow in your life or your business, then something's got to change. Stop the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Hi, I'm Brandon Heinz, and I've helped thousands of my clients do just that. Stop being controlled by limiting beliefs and patterns that don't suit you anymore. Join me at AskBrandonForFree.com. That's AskBrandonForFree.com. The number one show for entrepreneurs. This is In The Now, part of the Money 2.0 series on Money 105.5 and the Money 105.5 app. It's the in-between moments where the magic happens. Yeah. Money 105.5. Be in the moment, the now. In the now. In the now. That was powerful, right? I yeah. Mean, so I mean, when, we, when we're looking for our guest out there and we're looking for people, we want it to kind of sync yeah. with our core value. This whole reason this show was started was to help as many people possible with money, marketing, mindset, mentorship. So when you looked at our key pieces, when we said it right there, it's marketing, mindset, and mentorship. We really want you to understand that. And just listening to this lady talk about her life, you know, a, wo a woman with children, stepchildren, kindergarten, in college, doing all this stuff. We all as humans have the right to do what we want and perceive what we want in life. Like we can actually perceive that I want this kind of value in there and then go for it. Yeah. Yeah. And believing in yourself. I think that's the biggest thing that we can walk away is believe in your own magic. And, you know, we talked about, um, you know, the UVP in the beginning of the show and, uh, you know, we touched on it, but creating your own content, when you believe in yourself, magical things happen. Yeah. Right. And you, you heard what she said when she walks in these room with a bunch of actresses and there's a bunch of people that look the same as her. Right. Mm -hmm. But there, she guarantees there's a unique value about her that stands her apart. Yeah. All of us have this. Yeah. And you saw She's, it on our last show. The guy is an entrepreneur and speaker. And all of a sudden, he busted out. He was a rapper. Yeah. And yeah. he embraced it, right? He's actually going on stage and rapping to m mindset and marketing people. He's teaching them how to become speakers and market their business. And he's like, and watch how I do it. And he busts out a rap. Yeah. And the fact that, uh, you know, she's uh, on track to create these a um, aspirational shows. Yeah. And uh, really helping, giving people opportunities. So if you, you know, make sure you reach out to her and, um, and take advantage of, of, you know, an idea that you may have. It could, you, who knows? You could be working with her. Right? Yeah, you don't know. And she even offered you guys, if you have a great idea, go find her on Twitter or Instagram, Miss Gwynny Smith, and find her. Yeah. Because she, the one thing that really resonated with me is that she's going to do it and have a life doing it. Yeah. So you always hear us say, you know, design your business to gain your life. That was the whole foundation of design it. And we want you guys to understand that you can move forward with all kinds of different projects. But when you have this, this unique value point that stresses what you do and brings out who you are, that's why business is successful. Because humans see that. Other human beings, every one of us in, in business are working with other humans that see who you are. The transparency, being part of the being business. Being transparent, yep. yeah. So designing your unique value proposition. So go out there and start thinking, you know, what, what is my magic? Write down, you know, I talked about the SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunity, threats. You know, what are your strengths? It can be all kinds of stuff. Uh, as a business, you know, what are your strengths as a business? As an individual, what are your strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats? And so, and start designing and building your, your content, your information, your products, everything around you. Because uh, at the end of the day, they, they want to buy you, the person that you are, right? And so having that unique position, I love that. She comes in with the m mindset and the power of like, hey, I'm different. Yeah. You know, my mom's Jamaican. My father was, uh, I think he's... She, or, or vice versa. Vice versa. Yeah. Irish and Jamaican. Yeah, Irish and Jamaican. And she starts listing out all the different things that made her different, and but you made her the magic and and who she is. And uh, to be able to to take advantage of that and 
and pick up some pretty major roles. And one of the easiest things for that, you know, when we're looking at these things and we're, t- and we're working with our clients, so whether I'm one-on-one coaching or in a group, the first thing I do is, okay, identify who your direct competitor is, right? Yeah. And then look at their strengths, their weaknesses, and how they do things that you do and what they don't do that you do. Then go operate on your side of the fence and say, okay, my strengths compared to this company or compared to this coach or compared to this speaker are these. Now, you might have the same strengths, right? But there's going to be a, an outline when you write down everything good and bad about them and then go do the same thing about you, you'll start circling like, oh my gosh, I do this all the time. This is my unique value point. Like I'm a listener. Like I know in coaching, it's having a full appreciation of what's going on in the person's life. So I know my unique value as a coach is really hearing them. Like you heard today with me and Mike and the guest on the show, she really felt that she was heard. We embraced what she was saying. That's huge. That's a unique value point as a radio station. How many talk show hosts just talk over their customers? Yeah. Their guests. Their guests, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Or customer. Um, (laughs) You know, there's uh, a good example of that that you share um, during the Design It, and that was like the uh, uh, real estate pool guy. Yeah. Right? His uniqueness was that he geeks out on pools. You know, he loves all different types of pools and stuff. And so when you brought that out and we, you know, and created the marketing around that unique value proposition of pools, he started hanging out at pool, spa shows, all the expo. Yeah. And, uh, and was just talking to different people. And if he became the go-to realtor for pools, if you wanted a, a pool, he was the guy that uh, made that happen, and that's how he set himself apart, and he's, he's killing it. He's crushing it right now because of his unique value proposition and focusing his efforts in that area. Yeah, right? and then the water guy who basically found out that his best competitor, or excuse me, his best client was on the golf course. Mm. So going out to golfing events and golf and sponsoring golf charities and all that stuff made his water product take off because he realized that all of his perfect clients loved the fact that he was in water and that he was so entwined on how healthy it was for you and how his company could help you get better water and have it at your home and share it with your family. But he looked at it and said, oh my gosh, all my perfect clients play golf are recreationally play golf. And I found most of them on the golf course. So just targeting them. So once that UVP has been established, then you can start honing in where you can find more of those type of people. So find out what that unique value is for your company, for you, in, 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 in one and the same too, right? Like people always say, are you a life coach? Well, technically I'm not a life coach. I'm a business and marketing coach, but how can you have one without the other? Sure. We're always our worst enemy, right? We get in our way, but we're not. We're our best success. We're not screwed. We're actually <laughs> moving forward. There's all kinds of things that we say in life that are that words become and that stops us. Like I always say on the commercials, what limiting belief is holding you back? Yeah. Find out what your unique value is and embrace it. When we opened up Smush Ice Cream Sandwich Factory, we said, okay, people have ice cream, people have cookies, they make ice cream sandwiches out there. What's our unique value? The experience. Mm. What we ask them when they show up how we treat them during the process. And they only see us for two and a half minutes. Yeah. But two and a half minutes is very impactful. Just looking at another human for two minutes and having a real conversation with them is a huge, unique value point. And when you did that, you became in what, how many months? Yeah, nine months we got voted Sacramento's best ice cream shop. Yeah, because of the experience, right? People want to have that experience and want to be heard. And one thing inspires another. You know, when that starts happening, there's so many things. Like when uh, people talk about their personal shoppers. I mean, I, I have a guy, Justin, over at Nordstrom's. I go to him because when I walk in, he knows exactly what I'm looking for. Ask me, so is there anything different than what we normally do? And I'll say, yeah, today I'm looking for something in this color. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. And he goes and does his thing, his way, his magic, and then brings him to me and he aligns. I shop there just because of him. <laughs> Yeah. I'd buy one thing if I walked into Nordstrom by myself. I'm just not a big shopper. I'd be like, oh, give me a pair of pants. I'm out of here. Yeah, you're done. But then I go in there and see him, and I get three items. <laughs> you know, it's because his sure. unique value brings it to the table. He understands. And he makes it fun. Yeah. Right? So your UVP can be anything, but you've got to know what it is. Yeah. You yeah. have to know. And if you don't, if you have not taken the time, really sit down and think this out. 
right? What is making you unique? There's We call UVP, and then there's the USP, which is your unique selling proposition. So once you've determined what's your unique value proposition, what makes you different, now we've got to align it with how you sell and position yourself, your unique selling proposition. And uh, that'll be another show that we'll talk about. But <clears throat> definitely, you know, there's there's tools out there for you to research your competitors. Go look at Alexa. Go look at, um, you know. Separate yourself so, from the pact. Yeah, yeah. Just start researching and, and knowing how you could position. How could you improve? I always like to ask myself every morning, what could I do to improve on what I'm doing today? What What's the one thing that I could do to make what I do better? Right? I'm always looking for that angle. And the thing is, is when you put it out there, things will start appearing. Yeah. Like they'll just show up. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's the affirmation that brings it to attention. Then you start seeing it everywhere. Like we use the car analogy. You see a brand new car out and you're like, whoa, I've never seen that car. That red's so beautiful. And then everywhere you go that day, you're like, whoa, there's another one. Yeah. There's an, oh, there's that car. Yeah. Man, it's not as unique as I thought it was. I just wasn't paying attention to it before. Yeah, I wasn't into your radio station, WIIFM. Yeah, what's, what's in it, in it for, for me? me? Right? So, um, you know, once you put it out there, it definitely uh, will start showing and, and showing up in your world and uh, take advantage of it, right? Yeah, and sometimes you just think about the last interaction you had with a really good company and then think about what was their unique value point. Was it the salesperson? Was it the person who greeted you? Was it the customer service? <clears throat> Where do they stand that you can do the same or better? Yeah. How could you improve? And I mean, we had a guy this weekend that he was a mortgage guy. And his, his unique standpoint was very clear communication and then like labeled and numbered the paperwork and said, please pay attention to number one because of this. Let's go over this on number three. And then I'll set a phone appointment with you on number four. And he actually had this like little layout for every customer that came his way to make sure that they understood one of the big transactions in their life and that he answered every question before the sale ever even happened. And mm. guess what? It wasn't a sale anymore. It was a transaction that was beautiful and people respected him for it. His unique value was education. Yeah. So homework, what are you going to do? Go research yep. your competitors, create your unique value proposition and Bring out your own magic. Yeah, it's the moments in between when no one's looking where you thrive the most, and then you put it out to the public. Yep. So UVP on In the Now with Brandon Heinz and Mike Driggers. On Money Talk 105.5, we'll see you next week, next Thursday at the same time. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>